Hello everyone and welcome to Heidi's Home. It's been a while since I've done a video and I do apologize, but I will tell you, I have been super, super swamped and busy, but I'm back and here we go is a Walmart haul. Um, this is before Memorial Day. And so you're gonna see that I have some things for our Memorial Day. We'll have a couple friends coming over to have hot dogs and I become the connoisseur of hot dog chili lately. Um, we we uh, took public transportation and I got home with all of this stuff and we got it unloaded. There are my bags right there, of course, one up there. Um, I also have one more bag and it has all of my bread in it because I didn't want to squish it. So I'm gonna go through this and then I'll quickly show you my bread and that is it. So this should get us, all of this should get us until the 7th of next month. So that is the plan. 14 days worth of, of food here. And probably a little bit more because I did buy a couple things that I did find on sale that was not on uh, my list. Sometimes we make stuff like spaghetti and then we get two days out of it. And uh, depending on, you know, how much of it we eat, but we do pretty well as far as making our food last. So it's good. Um, I did splurge a little. However, it was on clearance. I did get the steak burgers. This is not for Memorial Day, but I'm going to split this and this will be for one night and this will be for one night. These are so delicious. These are my favorite go-to burgers. There is a frozen patty that I do like, and it's fun. it's getting harder and harder to get it at the store. These, when I cook them, they don't reduce down to anything. They stay nice and big like they are. Cannot wait. I am going to fix these this evening for dinner. Gallon of milk. Also got um, a thing of vanilla pudding some imperial butter. I do have some butter left, but I needed some. Guys, I'm telling you, usually I don't go to the store like this at the end of the month, but I'm out of everything. I mean, I will show you my freezer. I think all that's in there is some frozen fruit and some ice cream. I don't have a stitch of meat in the house at all. Some Cool Whip, some bananas, some hash browns, some bacon, now four, Memorial Day, we are going to have these smoked sausages right here. And I'm going to make hot dog chili as well as a hash brown casserole, baked beans, and a dessert, which will be my spring cake. The recipe is on my, um, here at Heidi's Home, and it's under my playlist, Recipes from My Kitchen, I think it's called. Very, very good recipe for, um, you know, warmer, warmer days. However, it's still pretty mild here, which is kind of funny. It is supposed to, I mean, even our Memorial Day, it's in the 70s. That's crazy for here. Usually we are sweltering. I haven't even turned my air conditioning on at all, which is just beyond crazy. Some mission wraps because we're going to have some fajitas. Two things of cheese. I have found that if I just go ahead and buy the big bag, whenever I make a meal list like tacos, burgers, fajitas, I can ration through this and this will last me a couple of weeks. And so I just get the big bag. We're going to have a pizza night. So I got the mozzarella cheese. Two things of active dry yeast. Uh, three, is it three? Yes, three packages of the mild taco seasoning. Uh, frozen uh, vegetables. They did not have like just the regular peppers and onions. So I just got the chopped onion. This is the chopped green peppers. Two things of broccoli florets because we love broccoli. Actually, I take back. I just lied. I do have meat. My father-in-law got three big steaks gave them to me and I'm fixing those tomorrow night with a baked potato and that broccoli. So yes, I do have meat, but it's technically not meat that I purchased. He gave it to us and tomorrow we are going to each have a steak, which I think is so nice. 
of him to do that. So classic roast coffee, some sliced cheese. Ronnie likes his cheese on his eggs and egg sandwiches and etc. So I got the sliced cheese. Two things of their brand of the shake and bake. We love it. Two things of the mushroom um, spaghetti sauce, another favorite. Two things of coffee filters. I'm not out, but my father-in-law keeps borrowing them from me, so I'm just going to give him one of these. And this is their brand of um, A1, as well as the ranch dressing. Two things of the thick cut bologna. Two things of the flaky grand biscuits, their brand. These are my go-to pickles, y'all. I cannot wait to open this up. This is one of my favorite, favorite things. At Costco down south, when I lived there for 24 years, you could go and get the jumbo humongous jar of these pickles. And oh my gosh, they are so good. They are so, so good. Two things of baked beans. And I just add love to them. You know, when I'm going to have a cookout, I drain them and I add mustard and brown sugar, a little bit of ketchup, some onion. You know, I just add some love, some bacon, pop them in the oven until the bacon is done through and they're nice and bubbly and then serve them up. Easy, easy, easy. I needed cleaner really bad. I needed some Lysol cleaner. I've got some more Pine Sol. I will tell you, I go through a lot of Pine Sol. I won't lie. I absolutely am obsessed with spraying that stuff everywhere. Found a lot of meat on sale. So we got pork chops. We got, these are chicken legs. Two things of those. Two things of boneless um, chicken thighs. There's the other one, some uh, breakfast sausage. Ronnie likes this dip with tortillas. So I got him another thing, thing of sour cream. My favorite in the whole world, um, dish soap. And I'm telling you, I love this bottle. I, I don't waste a single amount. And because I have the big bottle of Dawn, I just refill it when I'm done with it. The thing is, is I'm out of the big bottle pretty much. And so what I got left in there, I'll use up. Um, that's in a bottle like this one. And then I will start this. This lasts me three weeks. And I don't have a dishwasher, just so you guys know. Watermelon, potatoes. And then you have to excuse the sound of the chair. Um, this here I did not take out because it is leaking a little bit and I didn't want it all over my table and I am going to cut it up and put it in Ziploc bags, but this is um, the ground beef that I bought today. This is five pounds of ground beef. So yes, and now I'm going to get my bread. I'll show you guys what my bread looks like and then we'll say goodbye. Okay, lastly, I did have 18 pound eggs. I put it in a bag with the bread. I've got some hamburger buns that we will devour this evening, as well as two things of hot dog buns and a loaf of bread, all Walmart brand, yes. Um, so yes, that's what I got. Um, if you're curious how much it cost, all of this was the grand total of $1.98 and some change. So yes. <laughs> Um, I felt like I got some really good deals on my meat and, you know, I did the best that I could in making the right choices. Also, you know, this wasn't all groceries. There was some household products that was involved and this is 14 days. So that's about a hundred dollars a week. I don't think that's too bad. And I also have planned in here, you know, company. Um, and I did go through what I had in my pantry and my refrigerator before heading out to the store. I made a meal list, which, you know, there are some repetitious items that we do like to eat regularly anyways. Um, and I try to really include some things that are really easy to fix because we are very busy all the time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic Memorial Day. I'm going to get this out to you before Memorial Day, I think, hopefully. And 
I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I am hoping to have some cleaning motivation come out to you guys for next week. Thank you so much for watching and give me a thumbs up on this video. I will be talking to you all again soon. Bye guys.